Our last uh, speaker is a very important one, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Judge Thomas Gove. If uh, uh, Thomas, you would come forward, please. Judge Thomas Gove is Vancouver's downtown community courts presiding judge. He was instrumental in the design and establishment of the court and is dedicated to reforming how crime is addressed in the community. He uh, has performed a long service in many roles and uh, this is but one of many that he does so well. Thank you. Please welcome Judge Gove. Thank you, Joy. Well, as, uh, as, as Joy mentioned, I, I, I have been the presiding judge at uh, Vancouver's downtown community court since, uh, which opened in September of, uh, of last year. Uh, the community, community court is the intake criminal court for most uh, of the less serious uh, offenses that occur in downtown Vancouver. Uh, we see cases such as uh, thefts, assaults, uh, drug possession, breaking into cars. In our first year, we, we had 2,000 people, individuals, not, not offenses, that came through community court. It's a very busy place. I've just rushed there, and I have to rush back. Uh, community court takes what's described as a problem-solving approach. Uh, there are integrated teams of uh, professionals from 12 uh, government agencies working together to try to identify and address the reasons why many people are committing crimes. This is particularly so with the chronic offenders uh, who, are, who are often committing for crimes uh, to support drug addiction. Uh, we want to hold offenders accountable for their crimes, which is, of course, what a criminal court does. But we also <coughs> want to make changes in how they live with the belief that if we don't change, their, if we don't change the way they live, the way they function daily, we're not going to address uh, the commission of crime. Uh, I believe uh, that everyone needs uh, self-respect to be motivated to bring about a change in their life. And I had this quote that I, I've, I've used from uh, Mary, Mary Pickford, who's actually a, an, an old uh, actress, Canadian-born Hollywood actress. And it's a quote I, I got from a book I read. She said that if you, make, if you have made mistakes, even serious ones, there was always another, another chance for you. What we call failure is not falling down, but the staying down. And I think a lot of the people we see at community court are people who have fallen down and unfortunately have not gotten up. At community court, we do not want people to stay down because of their mistakes. We want them to seize upon a chance to make changes in the way they've been living. An important part of bringing this about <coughs> is that most offenders at community court perform some hours of community service. It's one of the real cores of, of the court. This is uh, to repair the harm done to the community and also to assist the individual to develop a sense of accountability for actions. But it's also important, in my view, to develop pride from having something to do and something to contribute to society. Offenders that are ordered to do community hours uh, either do it on one of our two street crews that clean the streets in downtown Vancouver, uh, water the hanging baskets, or they work with 25 agencies uh, where the purpose is, of course, to do some work, but also, perhaps even more important, to make connections with services that can assist them. In my view, the justice system can often underestimate the capacity of individuals, offenders, who present, uh, who, who come to us with many social and, and health problems. And if we marginalize them and refuse th to reconsider their worth and potential, we really do relegate them to being seen as useless or bothersome. Nothing has been achieved by our efforts if we continue the downward, down, the downward spiral of self-loathing and despair. If we require an individual to show up at a set time and perform a specific task that improves the community, their community, we give that person the message that we care about them, that we believe they have abilities, and we invite them to be part of the mainstream. A small beginning may have been made towards self-respect and motivation towards change. In time and with this, with, and in time, and with the right practical and emotional incentives, a now former offender uh, may move to supportive housing, stabilize enough to address mental health and drug addiction, 
and move on in their life. At community court, we have a very strong belief that people can change. And it's not part of what I'd prepare, but let me just one quick little anecdote. It's common in the criminal courts for people who, uh, who come to court who have uh, mental health problems, drug addiction problems, uh, of the kind of problems that are being discussed uh, earlier in this lunch, uh, for their lawyers, uh, understandably, to say, don't have my client do community service because they're simply not capable. They're, they're basically unable to do anything. And at community court, whenever that's happened, I always turn to the individual and say, are you able to do four hours of service, community service, volunteer work in your community? I've never had a person say no, and I understand I've never had one that didn't follow through. So I think we really have to recognize that although these folks have a lot of problems and they need a lot of help, th they really do have the capacity if we give them the opportunity. Thank you. I want to thank all of the speakers who have shared their important insights and done so in record time. Just think what uh, we will be able to learn when we look at their work further and perhaps even discuss with them uh, afterwards. Uh, I encourage all of you to refer to the blue menu uh, and learn more about all of our speakers and their ideas through the web links that we have provided there. Three minutes now is just the appetizer. You'll. Uh, get so much more uh, by accessing the blue menu. Um, the information on the speakers for today and for the last lunch on density and environment can also be found on the website www.globalcivic.org, which is uh, also behind me. Please, uh, a heartfelt thanks from all of us. Let's give our speakers a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs>